Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center, coming at you from the Jack Wolf Knives booth at Blade Show 2023. We're here with the man behind the brand, Ben, how are you? Hey everyone, hey David. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well, he's got something here that we're gonna take a look at. This is the new, uh, the newest release, gonna be dropping on the 16th of June, later this month. So, right. you got a lot of cool story behind the brand as, as a whole, for one, but this model as well. So I'm gonna just let you take it. All right. Yeah. What well, we got here? For those who've been following along since the beginning, we started selling knives with the Sharpshooter Jack. It's a slip joint, it's a gun stock, and it was one of our most popular releases. And here at the show, we decided to debut our first ever modern folder, and it only made sense to start with an iteration of the Sharpshooter Jack. And we call it the Gunslinger Jack because it's also a gun stock. Mm -hmm. This is a bolster lock design. It can middle finger flick. It can thumb flick. It has a full length titanium backspacer that resembles a slip joint spring. I think that's one of my favorite little details you did with it, was pulling that, that kind of identity through. Because you, you could have gone with standoff super easy, but this just feels right. Thank you. And we want it to have the slip joint DNA, which is what people have come to expect from us, the yeah. modern interpretation yeah. of the timeless design. And in that vein, while you do see a pocket clip, we've come accustomed to carrying in leather slips. Mm -hmm. And so we designed this so that when you disassemble the knife, you can unscrew the pocket clip from the inside and install the provided insert in the pocket clip slot so that it becomes friendlier for leather slip carry. Nice. Yeah. And giving you that ergonomic form factor of a slip joint with no clip. Yeah. It's nice that it's color matched too to the rest of the Anno. Yeah. The, uh, the, the blackout plate, I mean. Yeah, yeah. we want it, exactly. Yeah. yeah. A little splash of color to show that you're doing something different. Yeah. Well, and speaking of those splashes of color, we've got some of the other variants, the other color versions here, and you nailed them. I especially love the green and the gold here, the way they match with the with the handle materials on those. Just nice. Yeah, we, we wanted to do something special, something unique, mm -hmm. something you don't see every day. Perhaps something that would be done as a customization. Sure. From someone who does mods, but you can get right from the factory. So we have dark matter gold with gold anno. We have camel carbon toxic green with green anno. Also, I'll mention the fuller is ambidextrous, so mm -hmm. very lefty friendly mm -hmm. for lefties like myself. Especially have, in the pocket slip, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. We have fat carbon arctic storm with light blue anno. I wanted to do one contrasting, mm -hmm. so we have camel carbon bazooka pink with dark blue, sort of a Miami color scheme. Right. <laughs> and then, always a crowd favorite, fat carbon purple haze yeah. with really poppy purple anno. Excellent, they look great. Beyond that, um, what kind of performance we're talking? Steel material there? S90V, which you guys have come to love on my knives, yep. and like our other slip joints, thin behind the edge, designed to slice. Yeah, man. And sort of an unintended. Full height hollow grind on it. Full them, right? height hollow yeah. grind, thin behind the edge. And one of the unintended consequences of that hollow grind is the acoustics on this thing are something to <laughs> behold. They have a really nice ting when yeah. you open and close them. Yeah. They look great, man. And look, what's blade length? We're a little bit lar larger than the uh, We're uh, the basically one. three and a quarter, so 3.23. And great the size. handle length is 4.12. Great and they're size. coming in at 2.9 ounces, so they're really light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And price point on these? Uh, 350. 350. All right. Now, the feel on them is great. Like, it feels every bit of what you're looking for in a premium made folder at that kind of price point. The fit yeah. and finish is there. The feel, like that, that acoustic sound, like you mentioned, it's there. Very nice. Yeah, I think people will be satisfied with these. Kind of a neat thing, too, with the anodized backspacers, you can see the color in the blade well. So when it hits the light just right, yeah. it's a really cool effect. Rock on. Excellent. Well, Ben, thank you so much. Look for these. It's the, uh, sorry, the name again? The, the Gunslinger Jack. Gunslinger Jack. Nailed it. <laughs> Pretty cool artwork on the two. Oh, yeah. Tell me about the packaging here because people love this stuff. Yeah. So for people into traditional knives, you'd recognize that the knives are commonly sold in tubes. Yep. And they're often cardboard tubes, and they have sort of uh, old world artwork on them. Mm -hmm. 
Well, with my modern interpretation of this style of knife, I wanted a modern packaging yeah. concept that was reflective of how it's been done. Sure. And so I sourced these metal tubes. It gave me a chance to do an embossed lid, mm -hmm. which I thought was neat. And I hired an artist who's worked for Marvel and other major comic companies mm -hmm. to develop the artwork. And the name of the knife is often driven by the historical pattern. Yep. And then the name of the knife drives the artwork. We developed Jack Wolf, our main character, <laughs> our hero. And in this case, he's a gunslinger in the Old West. There you go. Good stuff. Excellent. Ben, thank you. Again, look for these to drop June 16th, just a few short days away from the Blade Show here. Ben, thank you so much, man. Thank you, David. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Thanks for sticking around. Make sure to check out the rest of our Blade Show coverage. Take care.